Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft and today we're gonna to talk about another question that comes up quite a bit and especially for 2021, just getting started, this is a great topic to talk about and that is what are the best printers to get for printing labels. Now I've done a few videos in the past talking about printers but I never really narrowed down to exactly what printers to get and this is a question that comes up with a lot of people, everybody wants to know exactly what printer to get. Now in my previous video, I went over several reasons why getting an inkjet over a laser or a laser over an inkjet might be best for you. And ultimately it really doesn't matter kind of where you are in your process of getting candles going, getting your business going, printing labels, anything is gonna work in the beginning. But as you go up, everybody wants to kind of upgrade and go up from there. And of course, get away from the printers that are just kind of making do. And this is what I wanted to go over today. Now jumping into 2021, a lot of new stuff is coming out, which is why I wanted to highlight one of these printers because it's a very exciting printer to come out. It's a really nice printer that's just coming out. And it's definitely one I wanted to highlight for a bunch of people in the channel. So I'm gonna be talking about that one and I'm gonna be talking about two other printers that are gonna be really good for your candle business or any business for that matter. And of course, if you haven't seen it already, you can check out any of the other printer videos that I've already done in the channel. And of course, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and please hit the bell notification so that you're notified when new videos launch. So the first printer that I wanted to talk about today is the Brother HL L2300D and it's a monochromatic laser laser printer. Now, I always recommend laser printers to anybody starting out. Inkjets do work extremely well, uh, but you gotta be a little bit careful with what you print on. And that's not to say that you get a print on anything with a laser also, but with inkjet, you run the chance of the ink running a little bit more. So you definitely need to pay attention to what paper you get there. Uh, the main reason I like to recommend laser printers is just they're more cost effective over time. You're gonna run into a lot less smearing and smudging with, with labels that come out. And this is a great first starter printer. Now you can get into printers for a lot less than this one. This one starts out at $99, which I think is a great jumping off point for a good printer that's gonna give you nice labels with a good high resolution quality when they come out. Now the problem you're gonna run into with some of the cheaper printers, and you can pick up an inkjet for as low as $30 now, but as you start looking at those labels when you print them out, and I'll try to put a, uh, a screenshot up here that kind of shows them, you're gonna see a lot of individual dots. If you zoom in too, too close to the uh, to the image or if you put it real close to your face, you're gonna be you're gonna see some of the pixelation that kind of comes with the kind of a cheaper printer. Whereas if once you start going up in the higher resolution, the printer, the printing qualities, you're gonna get a little bit nicer print. And of course, I'll leave a link to this printer in the video description down below so that if you wanna go out there and see this and check out all the stats and the specifications and the uh, and basically the tech specs on this, you can look through that as well. Now, if you're looking for a fast printer, this is gonna be somewhat of a fast printer. It prints 27 pages per minute, but when most people are printing labels, I know for me personally, I print maybe two or three at a time. Uh, most of the time, I print one sheet at a time. So having a printer that prints extremely fast isn't a huge benefit for me, or, and it's not really something I look for, but if it is something you're looking for, if you do print a bunch of labels over and over, uh, this one is pretty fast. Like I said, 27 pages per minute. The printer tray holds 250 sheets, so it's got plenty of capacity for anything you're gonna be doing. And the resolution on this one is 2400 by 600, which is gonna give you a nice looking, kind of high quality label that will go on pretty much any product that you're gonna put these labels on. But the reviews on this printer are really good. I've used a lot of Brother printers in the past. They do extremely well. They're easy to install the drivers on these things and this is kind of one of the one of the big pains uh, when it comes to printers are the drivers. Some drivers are just are a pain to install. They require a lot of work over time uh, with the drivers kind of failing and everything like that. And of course me working in IT, printers are one of the worst things that you can work on. Uh, the brothers have always been real reliable for me, which is why I have no problem recommending this printer. Now the next printer that's on this list is gonna go up in price quite a bit and it's gonna jump into the color range and that's the new Eco Tanks that have just come out from Epson. And if you haven't seen these, the commercials are everywhere. They're the uh, they're the new printers that are being promoted by Shaquille O'Neal and they're actually really nice printers. They just came out, I think within this last year, but really taking off in the last several months. They're getting incredible reviews and the fact that you can refill the ink tanks on these things is probably one of the best features and it's probably one of the best cost saving features out of any of the printers that are out there right now. I know this one on the website lists uh, per color prints and, and full page prints at one cent as opposed to 20 cents a page, which is huge, especially for candle makers, soap makers, anything like that, who are looking to save money everywhere. 
Now, like I said, this one definitely jumps up in price. Most color printers, you're gonna start right around like $300. Uh, that's pretty normal. And then of course they go up from there depending on what you need as far as like extra scanning or copying. But for the most part, just getting a basic laser printer, a color printer that just prints is gonna be perfectly fine. And of course this printer has a ton of other features. Uh, some that I would never use, voice commands. I don't think I'm ever gonna use voice commands with the printer. It does have Wi-Fi, so if you're working on labels, I do this all the time, working on labels on a laptop laptop and I just want to print. Having Wi-Fi is extremely nice. And then of course with the EcoTanks, there are several models with this one. The first one starts at $299 and it's going to be perfectly fine for anything that any candle maker is going to be doing out there. And they go all the way up to $500 with a few more features that I mentioned before with like a flatbed scanner, copier, everything like that. And one last bonus printer I wanted to bring into this one is not necessarily for labels that you're going to be wrapping around your candles, not your typical label, but I wanted to highlight the Silhouette Cameo 4, which is a vinyl cutting printer and they're extremely nice if you wanted to get kind of that raised or vinyl cut sticker look on the outside of your candles. And I'll go ahead and post a picture right here of some of the candles that I make and use those labels. They're really nice. It's not going to be a printer for everyone. That's why I kind of wanted to throw it in at the end. But it is a printer that I wanted to highlight and basically put out there for people because there are a lot of people who watch this channel who do ask about those printers. The new Cameo 4 runs $299, uh, which is a great price. It comes with wireless and everything like that. And just overall a real nice printer if you're looking to kind of get some labels that stand out from the normal kind of square or round labels that you see on pretty much everything, but definitely another printer that you should check out. But that's pretty much it with this one. Three solid printers. Uh, two of them are gonna be kind of your everyday label printers, which is why I wanted to highlight those. And two printers that I have no problem recommending. If you go for the $99 black and white laser or the $300 color, uh, you're not gonna be disappointed with either one of these. And it really comes down to what kind of labels you're printing. I know for me in the beginning, I stuck with a $99 black and white printer, and I used that for years before I switched switched up to a color printer. The print looks great, the quality is really nice, and of course starting out at $99, it's easy to jump into that one without spending a ton of money in the beginning when you're just getting things going. So I hope that was helpful. If you know of any other printers that have just come out within the last year, please let me know in the video description down below. Like I said, there are a ton of printers out there. Pretty much anything is gonna work for you, but there are printers that will make things a little bit easier as you start to go up. And of course, if you have any other questions about these printers or about this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to go through an update and answer every single one of those. And of course, if you'd like to see any of these printers, I've included link in the video description down below so that you can jump over and take a look at either one of these. And of course, if you'd like to see any of the stuff that I make as far as candles, the eBooks, the picture stickers, you can see all of that on my website at stanleyhandcrafted.com. And you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, my website, and the phone number if you wanna sign up for any of the text alerts. Everybody that signs up for the text alerts, uh, I try to keep everybody informed on new jars coming out, new waxes coming out, new tins when they finally come in. Uh, that is definitely the place. So jump over there. The number is 253-303-7968. And of course, the moment I hear about anything, I send a text out to everybody so that you guys can jump on that first. And of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.